Chris in uh, Oklahoma, thanks for waiting. Hey, hi, you guys. Hi. Do doing well. Uh, yeah, I, I want to, first of all, I, I appreciate y'all having this format because um, most of the time when you, you're you getting exposed to, like, Darwinism or, you know, naturalistic materialism, it's usually from a, a one-way medium, you know, like a, a, a museum or a discovery channel or something like that or, or a magazine or, you know, so... You can't talk back or ask questions, so I, I appreciate you guys doing this. Oh, thanks. Um, okay. Yeah, my question is, is like what, uh, you brought this up in one of the past, past shows about doubting Thomas, and I thought that was really good observations about, about that, about that passage in the Bible where doubting Thomas, he's, he wants to see the hand, the holes in the hands and the holes in the side. Like what, like what if, what if, like a doubting Thomas was to come up upon, uh, like a like a Darwinist. What do you mean by Darwinist? Well, somebody who believes, you know, that uh, one one animal turns to another and everything came out of the you know so primordial. Someone, someone soup, who accepts you know, evolution as as the explanation for the diversity of life on Earth. Yeah, I mean, you, you guys define yourself as uh, evolutionists. I'm, I, I, that's from what I gather from listening to y'all. I, I, no, I normally don't end up using that label because evolution is yeah. just a fact. Yeah. And then there's okay. the, the, the theory of evolution by natural selection, which is the model that tries to describe the facts uh, of evolution. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's not, I, just, I, don't, I don't tend to use it just like I wouldn't call myself uh, a germ theorist, okay. you know, talking about the germ well, theory of disease, or I'm a gravitationalist. I mean, it's right. just, just science. But like, say, let's say, let's say, uh, like I'm doubting Thomas, and I mean, there's okay, there's all. I understand there, there's all kinds of stuff that's out there that's presented as you know facts that Darwinian that evolution is true. I, mm -hmm. I understand that yeah. there's there's tons well, of stuff okay. like what brand of floor wax you choose. You know, it's like, oh, that's that's evolutionary marketing, and then that's proof of Darwin. I have you know, no idea what that stuff. last sentence meant. Yeah, and so why do you keep throwing Darwin's name into this? Uh, well, I mean, it's just a kind of a handy label, I guess. What, uh, what would you prefer? It's, it's an incorrect label because the theory okay, has what changed. Would you prefer? The theory has changed significantly since Charles Darwin proposed Neo -Darwin. the model. Okay, it's so just evolution. It's just evolution. Evolution. Okay. Theory of evolution. Um, let's say evolution. Okay, it happened, and you know, and let's say yes. uh, I'm I'm a I'm a doubting Thomas type, and okay. you know, I, I, and I and I believe in it's, it's an extraordinary claim. It's an extraordinary claim to state that, oh, well, new information gets into the genome through a, a purely random process. And, uh, you know, I want to see I want to see proof. I want to stick my hands on the side. I want to put my hands on the nail. What would you suggest to me at that point? Well, I'd start off at many of the uh, websites that are devoted to teaching evolution uh, okay. in simple terms. Princeton has uh, no Princeton's got the philosophy when it's uh, Berkeley. It has a really good evolution site. There's also talkorigins.org. But there's a number of uh, really kind of straightforward explanations. If you want something that's kind of like, you know, the hole in the hand type thing, then I would uh, take yeah, a look. Yeah, direct observation. I, I would take a look at Ken Miller and what he's talked about with regard to chromosome 2, the fusing of chromosome 2 and how we've, you know, determined that that actually happened. Because that, along with, for example, Francis Collins, who is the former head of the Human Genome Project and is an evangelical Christian and yet accepts evolution because of the scientific evidence from DNA and, and along with Ken Miller, specifically chromosome 2 showing the fusing that, that demonstrates conclusively we are great apes. Uh, the, the fusing okay. that took place in chromosome 2 and how they identify it. Um, and then you can go on from there to talk about the observations of speciation, which some creationists want to just say, well, it's still the same kind, but kind has no value in science. Mm -hmm. And under the definitions of speciation, the only real objection that anti-evolutionists can offer that puts a, a real problem for evolution is to say that we live in a young universe. Because the key to evolution is time. The key to diversity is time. And so that's why you have, you know, Ken Ham and others who are advocating for a young Earth. They, they see the Earth as six to 10,000 years old. And if they were correct, then the entire model 
for evolution would crumble if the Earth were young because there's not enough time there to do anything. Absent yeah, but that, the, but everything that you've given me so far up to this point is just merely a claim. I mean, I know that you could. I mean, because if you know, you, you you're pointing me. Oh, well, maybe go on Talk Origins or something like that. So you know, I go on. I've been on Talk Origins and. They'll give you a citation of, like, say, a peer-reviewed paper or something like that. But right. that, that's merely a claim, and that's, that's telling them out to, to uh, Jesus telling Doubt, Doubting Thomas, well, you know what, you're not going to look at the holes in the side, you're not going to look in the holes in the hand, just go read the Law and the Prophets, and then, you know, once you get a, once you read up, then you'll understand. And then that's, that's, that's a, a really good analog to what, uh, a Darwinist, or I'm sorry, but whatever you guys call yourselves, will will tell a, a, a non-believer or a skeptic. He said, "Well, just go read, and then you'll, well, you know, if you're no. smart enough, or if you have enough so, on the ball intellectually, then you'll, then then the weight of the argument then will kind of wash over you, and then you'll become a believer." So, I mean, so there's, all the parallels to religion on. is hang very on. striking at that point. I think. Hang on. There, there's two issues here. First of all, that there's a claim, okay, and mm -hmm. the second is that. Um, you hear the claim and you don't know how to evaluate the evidence. All right, so there's something, um, something we all. Well, have I, to I'm not going to get to evaluate the evidence at all. I have to Why go not? through a third Why not? party. Why not? No, Why no, not? no, no, no. No, no, because in every peer reviewed paper, they're mm -hmm. going to describe the methods they used to make okay. this discovery, um, to carry out whatever experiments or anything that they, they had to do in order to come up with whatever it is they're claiming here. I mean, the, yeah. people, the people who go to college don't just read a book and say, oh, right. these dating methods are correct. You can actually test these dating methods. Yeah. You can also investigate fossils. You can also look at the DNA. I mean, th th this is not just a claim to say, oh, here's chromosome two and it fused. They're not just making a claim. They're providing well, the evidence. Are, hang on, guys. hang on. They're providing the evidence and their methodology for examining and why they reached this particular conclusion. And this is all available for anyone to investigate. Granted, you might you know, have to have access to, to uh, research facilities to be thorough, but that's the reason that science goes through this peer review right. process, because the, all, the bulk of science in the modern world is a, an attempt to disprove something else. And it gets us towards a more refined model that doesn't claim to be true or absolute. They're all probabilistic models that are tentative based on the evidence. And so if, you're, if what you're looking for is why should I believe that evolution happened, the evidence is out there in overwhelming quantities. And is oh, available claim, for claims people. of evidence. No, no, claim, the, the actual evidence about, is out there. Claims about uh, observations, observational no, wait a claims minute. about observations. That, that gets to That's exactly. Not, I'm, I'm no, doubting Thomas. Stop, I want to see. I want stop. to put my hands in the. You, I don't this, believe. I don't believe that you want to see. I don't believe yeah. that you want to investigate because when we tell you where you can go and what you can do to actually investigate, you just want to say those are claims. It's not just a claim. Well, it's, it's predicated on this idea that um, there's this kind of standard called, you know, peer review. Yes. And, yeah. that, and, that, and that is somehow like um, sort of tantamount to something being uh, evidence in and of itself. No, no, no it isn't. It, it's a quality, well, I mean, it's what, a quality control well, check, even, but no even one is claiming. Hey, stop. It's a quality control check. No one's claiming it's right. perfect. Sometimes okay. it, you know, bad stuff gets through. And guess who discovers that? Other scientists who go in and they read the paper and they try to replicate the results of that paper. And if they can't yeah. replicate those results, then they come back and say, hey, this wasn't really true. You gotta you know, come up with an explanation for why we got different results. And that's how science gets better because nobody claims to have absolute truth so, when we're talking about science. So let me, uh, let, uh, hang, hang on, hang on, the, uh, hang on, let me ask this. She, I gotta hey. respond to her. No, uh, you don't, she, no, you don't. Here's the here's my question. Okay. You're you're wanting to hey, show me the evidence so that I'm convinced that evolution is true. Let's say that this is impossible and in fact there is no good evidence for evolution. And none of us should believe it. Okay? Let's say we live in that world. The world before modern science, the world before Darwin's mm -hmm. model which then moved on. What do you, what do you believe is the explanation for the diversity of life? 
Um, well, I mean, it, that this is. I'd have to go off. We'll have to go off topic. I mean, I'm. I How is it off topic to talk about the diversity of life? No, I, I I want to examine the claims of the you know the evolutionists. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't. So. This is, okay. this is a modern scientific explanation that is well documented. It's the foundations of biology. But there was a period of time where that was not the case. Well, you, you just got through making another claim. And, you, you know, you, that, that's what all of your evidence is based on are just claims. It's like, Holy nobody crap, gets to, Chris. No, nobody, no layman gets to examine yes, any of the yes, they, yes, Look, scientists were all freaking laymen at some point. Yes. Mm -hmm. But none, I didn't just make another claim. I'm saying, let's go back to the world before we had good reason to believe evolution, which you think is probably still now. That's fine. What's the, what's the other option? Well, the, uh, the, other, op the other option would be something um, that is not uh, evolution, of course, but there's, there are other options. But... Um, what, what I'm trying to get at here is that every everything that you provided me is some sort of a claim. Oh, my like gosh. It's, it's Chris, not, Chris yes. listen, can listen you answer a simple wanna, fucking I question? I my point here. Chris, can, can you answer a simple it's, fucking question? What is the alternative? This, this is, I'm, not making a, yeah. I'm not making an argument for evolution. I'm asking a question. What's the alternative? Uh, there is no other alternative. Okay. That's that's that, that's the Tina fallacy. That's the okay. You, you're you're putting a burden on me to prove another uh, to provide another alternative. Before no, we no, Chris. Talk. This is no. what I'm trying to do. That's, that's fallacious uh, reasoning. Is, Chris, Relation. Chris, please shut up and let me finish because you're making assumptions that demonstrate that you don't hey, look under, it up. Look you, it up. You don't Tina even understand fallacy. what the yeah, fuck yeah, I'm yeah. saying, Chris. I'm saying I'm, that yeah. I'm saying I'm an atheist, and I'm on an atheist show. And my atheism is not in any way predicated upon the condition that evolution is true at all. Evolution could be false. Evolu the entire model, I'm not here preaching evolution to people as if it were true. I, my non-belief in a God is not conditioned upon whether or not science has found an explanation for the origins of the diversity of life. Well, I mean, and so of, why are you calling me to talk to me about it as if it were relevant to whether or not I believe in a God? Well, I mean, it, I mean, you don't have to take a position that's expressly stated. A lot of it's implied by, uh, you know, how, how, how you conduct your, uh, you know, discourse. It, how, it, can can you answer it, any true. question? A, a major publisher retracts 64 scientific papers in fake peer review outbreak. That's from the Washington Post. That was yes. just Chris, Yes, can, can, exactly. That's my point. So that, so, Nobody's okay, claiming so that I'm, science is I'm doubting is Thomas, and then like every bit of evidence that you're going to offer me is, is based upon this uh, you know, peer review Chris, process thing. That, Chris, that, uh, Chris, so how, why should, Chris. I mean, why should doubting Chris, Thomas you know, Chris, me believe any of it? Chris, why should I believe in a God? I'm not, I don't, I, dude, I don't care if you believe in God or not. Why should anybody believe in a God? I don't care if you believe in evolution. So why are you calling to talk to me about it? Well, it, right, uh, but that's what, what I, I, see, when I, when I, when we started the call, I explained that to you. I said, you know, there's, there's all these one-way mediums that I get exposed to that I have to pay for and that it, that's at the, at the barrel of a gun. Like, if I don't pay my taxes... Hang up on this what? jackass. What? Comes Hang and... up on this jackass right now. Yeah. Paying for stuff at the barrel of a gun. Talk Origins is free, by the way. Yeah. Oh, Not well. only that, but there are peer-reviewed periodicals. Science Magazine, for example. Anything over a year old is free to access. Those are peer-reviewed papers. They describe the methodology. Anybody can replicate them. Okay, so you don't have the relevant education or experience to do it. You can get those. But it's all just claims, Jen. I know. Yeah, until you actually go out and, and, that's why when and the get atheists, your PhD and replicate the work, and then it's not just a claim anymore. That's a comforting little delusion you've but, constructed there, Chris. But because if you now, don't have the fucking chops to go get your PhD yeah. and actually do the work, then shut up. It's a, it's a comforting little wall that he's built up because yeah. now when the atheists say you're just making claims and not providing evidence, he can say, well, you're doing the same thing, except that one of us is right and the other one's not. Yeah. And, then, and that's why every time I ask you about an alternative or why somebody should believe in God, oh, no, no, I don't care if you believe in God. Cool. Well, why'd you call me to talk about evolution? <laughs>
Oh, it's all just claims. I'm doubting Thomas. No, you're not. Well, actually, you might be doubting Thomas because one of the things about doubting Thomas is that he wanted to see the, the holes in Jesus' hand and the piercing of the side so that he could be sure that the person he was meeting was the same one as before. Um, however, is that sufficient evidence to justify the claim that Jesus actually rose from the dead? No. It may be sufficient evidence that you're talking about the same person, but you didn't, you didn't verify that this individual died. So Doubting Thomas is a fiction invented so that people who can't see evidence will be willing to believe and think that they are more blessed for believing without evidence. And you've put yourself in a position where you're eager to believe one thing without evidence and put yourself in the position of a mock skeptic like Doubting Thomas to make claims that the bulk of science which, by the way, I'm pretty sure that any other science that doesn't conflict with your religious beliefs, we could have had a discussion and you would have been absolutely fine about how it's just a claim about the germ theory of disease. Where's the evidence for the germ theory of disease? It's just claims, you know, <laughs> just peer-reviewed stuff. Those damn scientists, they don't know what they're doing. <sighs> they have their papers retracted all the time.